Northern Tier Sport fans, we're at Olympic Stadium with the Atlanta Braves. And we have with us John Sane, who is one of the all-time great pitchers in the National League. Back in 48, in my day when I was really following him, it was Spahn and Sane and Trey Ferrain, and I remember that good. And John, for the Northern Tier fans, after you retired as an active player, could you bring us up to date now? Well, uh... I decided I was going to be a small town Chevrolet dealer there for a while. And but anyway, I was out of the game three years, and then I decided that I wanted to come back. So I coached for uh, uh, Kansas City one year, and then I was out a year, and uh, then I went to the Yankees. I was there 61, 2, and 3 with, when Ralph Hout took over for Casey Stingle, and we were fortunate enough to win. Uh, three pennants in a row, so I felt pretty good about that. And having played with the Yankees when I was a player in three pennants, so I, in New York, I was fortunate enough to be in six World Series with the Yankees. And uh, then I coached for Minnesota, and, and we, we won a pennant in '65, and then in '68 we won one in uh, Detroit. So uh, and then I coached for five years with the White Sox, and I've been with the Braves for the last ten years. In the minor leagues. And, well, 1977, I was with the Braves Major League Club, and uh, this is this will be my 26th year in the big leagues in the major in the major leagues. Okay, John. And now, could you tell us with the Atlanta Braves the duties of a pitching coach? Well, of course, uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, really a pitching coach should stay in the background as much as you can. And uh, all you try to do is to shore up or try to give pitchers ideas or try to help them really with what they're trying to do. Uh, uh, a pitcher, as far as I'm concerned, any pitcher knows more about what he's trying to do than anybody else. So uh, I'm not one to believe that you can just uh, think for somebody else or you can turn them around or you can make them over. All you can really do is is maybe uh, suggest something to them or maybe help them try to learn that if they're interested. And uh, uh, I'm, I just, uh, I really enjoy it. I enjoy being around young people. And uh, uh, of course, pitching is the most controversial part of baseball. So uh, I'm real happy to be in that part of it. Uh, during the game, are you in the dugout or the bullpen? Well, I'm in the dugout. Uh, during the game. I like to watch them while they're pitching uh, in a ball game and uh, that way I have a little more to talk about uh, uh, afterwards. And do you have any say or I'm sure you have suggestions about the manager taking out the pitcher? Well, no, you, you see uh, 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 you got to have one man in charge and that's the manager. He runs the whole show. The minute the game starts, well, he's in charge of all of us. The coaches, the pitchers, and the whole bit. So uh, the, the manager decides who's going to pitch, and the manager decides uh, uh, when he takes them out of the game and the whole bit. Well, sport fans, you've been very fortunate to listen to a former major league great pitcher, and I'm sure a tremendous pitching coach. And we want to thank you very much, and wish you and your ball club the very best for 1985. Thank you very much. Sure.